Hello class 9 students. Today you are going to get uh, the chapter 5 of uh, class 9 in Sacred Test book. That is uh, the fundamental, the fundamental unit of life. I am going to talk about the fundamental unit of life. Then what is the fundamental unit of life? That is the cell, cell of an organism. And uh, who invented cell? And uh, what are the different uh, segments or what are different parts of a cell? And we can look at uh, based on the test book. And uh, Robert Hooke in 1665, he invented cell as the fundamental unit of life. But uh, they went and uh, in 1674, he observed uh, the cell with uh, a microscope. And uh, Robert Brown in 1839, he invented the nucleus of a cell. And any cell, any cell, suppose it is a virtual diagram of a cell, and the uh, cell has a boundary, that is a plasma membrane, plasma membrane. And uh, inside the plasma membrane, there is a fluid part, there is a fluid part, and that is known as cytoplasm, cytoplasm. And uh, in the in the cytoplasm, there is a certain part that is a nucleus, nucleus of the nucleus of the cell. And these are the three main parts: plasma membrane of cell membrane, cytoplasm, a fluid-like structure inside the plasma membrane of cell membrane, and there is a certain part that is nucleus of the cell. These are the main parts of a cell. And uh, there are plant cells and animal cells. Other than uh, Animal cells, plant cells are having cell wall also. That is why the shape of the plant cell is always fixed. And we cannot change the shape of the plant cell. It has a cell wall. Cell wall. Cell wall other than this plasma membrane. Now, in human body, human body contains different types of cells. Cells are having different shapes, but the common part of all the cells are same, that is a plasma membrane or cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus. And then in human body, in human body, we can see different cells, muscle cells, blood cells, nerve cell, bone cell, fat cell, egg or all, sperm, that is a sex cells. And then these cells are having different shapes different size and different shapes but uh, they come and say that is there will be a nucleus there will be cytoplasm there will be plasma membrane now we have to think about the plant cell and the animal cell cell separately and uh, plant cells plant cells as I said uh, other than the plasma membrane there is a cell wall cell wall other than this uh, plasma membrane in addition to plasma membrane and so the size of the the shape of the plant cell is always fixed and then but then we can change the shape of the animal cell according to the according to the the structure of the animal cells and then it is flexible we can change it change the shape and then plant cells we can change the shape of the cells and then the plus cell membrane, cell membrane or plasma membrane, it has so many minute pores, pores. Through these pores, materials are entering inside and outside. Waste products are going outside. The essential materials are getting inside. And uh, this movement, this movement of materials in and out of the cell through plasma membrane. That uh, process is called uh, diffusion. Diffusion. We can observe plant cell or animal cell through a common microscope. And uh, the, through diffusion, materials are going inside and outside of the cell. Okay? Thank you.